What? It's cough and cold season again? Hey guys, it's Lisa with thechinesesuitlady.com. There's a lot of people getting sick lately. The kids are sick, cousins are sick, I got sick, my husband's sick. In collaboration with Tash from Superwell, and Tash, great timing on the soup. I'm gonna make a relief soup tonight for my family. It's gonna help relieve cough and decongestion just around this whole area to help you feel and breathe better. So let's open this up and see what goodies are inside. Inside, I found dried Chinese mushrooms. This neutral sweet ingredient targets the spleen and lungs, helping to remove dampness, nourish the blood, and tonify qi. There's also dried figs. This sweet, slightly warm fruit targets the lung and stomach, clearing heat, clears toxins, and is used for sore throats, wheezing, and coughs. Ah, dried snow pears. The sweet, slightly cooling fruit targets the lung and stomach, clearing heat, reducing fire, and moistens the lung and stomach. Dried conch meat. This sweet and salty, slightly cooling protein nourishes and tonifies the yin. It is commonly used in Chinese soups to enhance flavor and can be eaten as part of the soup. Dried Chinese yam. This sweet neutral root targets the kidney, lungs, and spleen. It tonifies the lung qi and nourishes lung yin, helping to calm coughs. And finally, dried apricot kernels. The south sweet and north bitter seeds are warm in nature with bitter and sweet tastes. They target the lungs and large intestines and relieve coughs, lubricate the lungs and intestines, and clears damp heat. Dried barley. These little round pearls are cool and sweet, targeting the lungs, spleen, and stomach. They are used for detoxifying and eliminating water and dampness and heat from the body. And my favorite, dried longans. Sweet, warm, and also called dragon eyes. This is a staple in the Chinese soup pantry, which nourishes the blood, calms the spirit, and relieves fatigue. I've also added pork bones for more flavor and frozen conch which are readily available and easy to use. Pick your choice of neutral vegetables. And finally, the dried snow fungus. This neutral and sweet ingredient targets the stomach, kidney, and lungs. It is a power tonic herb for yin deficiency, nourishes and moisturizes the lungs and stomach, and promotes the generation of fluid. Start by soaking the snow fungus, dried conch, figs, and mushrooms. And because I like efficiency, I'll get both my soup pot boiling alongside my blanching pot. Overall, this prep to get me to the soup cooking in the thermal pot was about 30 minutes. As you blanch the frozen conch and pork bones in boiling water, you can drop in the snow pears and figs into the cold soup water. This is so that you aren't flash cooking them and they can release the sweetness as they cook. Prepare your vegetables into bite-sized pieces. Remove the conch and pork bones from the blanching water and give them a nice rinse until the water runs relatively clear. I'll give that conch a thorough bath to remove any dirt or grime as I plan to serve it as a side dish. Once your soup water boils, throw everything into the pot except the snow fungus. This is because it softens and dissolves pretty easily and I want to be able to find them in my soup. Cover, boil on high for 30 minutes and then transfer to your thermal pot. One eternity later. About 30 minutes before serving, I'll put it back on the stove to high heat and throw in the snow fungus to finish it off. And before you serve, use a scooper to remove the oil and bone residue floating around. So excited to check out our soup. Look at the rich color. The soup is slightly sweet, savory, and clean. I served this to the whole family as part of our dinner and the kids had two bowls each. Hopefully it's goodbye coughs. And I loved eating the snow fungus and soft veggies. You can take out the giant mushrooms and the conch to be sliced as a side dish. And when dipped with soy sauce, it's so yummy. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And for more recipes, find us at thechinesesouplady.com. See you soon.